All right, YouTubers, I'm uh, back with another video and uh, I just got the uh, Asus GTAX 6000 and uh, I'll try to see if I can unbox it and uh, set it up. I'm not going to go through the, uh, the setup. It might take uh, longer than expected, but what I'm going to do is uh, I'll try to unbox this uh new beast uh the problem that i had recently with my old router is that uh i've, I've uh, recently switched to a bell uh one and a half gigabit per second uh internet and that's the download speed so with my gigabit router i think it's a uh, asus uh 3100 AC 3100 I can't go any higher than a gigabit so I purchased this uh, router since it has um, dual two and a half gigabit so what I can do is hook up the uh, the LAN uh, cable from the Bell modem to the van and reach uh, higher than a gigabit uh, speeds uh, so this router is nothing special about it other than the uh, yeah it's it's a Wi-Fi 6 so I don't think it's a uh, 6e or Wi-Fi 7 the only thing that I was interested in was that dual dual one um, let me see if I can show you the interface on this thing so yeah it has uh, obviously USB ports 2.0, 3.0, 4 gigabit lens, and it has a 2.5 GB VAN port and a 2.5 GB LAN port, which is perfect. So what I can do is hook up from the modem to the VAN port, and then from the 2.5 GB LAN port, I can go to a, a 2.5 GB switch to connect my, uh, I actually have a server I have a, a, a PC in my uh, uh, main floor and I have another gaming PC which is right here they all have two and a half GB lands on the motherboard uh, so I can use that two and a half GB to reach internet speeds higher than uh, obviously a gigabit so let's just uh, let me just put this down set this stand and unbox it for you so stay with me okay nothing special here <laughs> i'm just this time i'm recording in 4k 30 so hopefully uh you get a better uh, quality nothing special just a regular knife i don't have any fancy knives Let's just open this Thing is heavy. All right, all the useless stuff. Quick guide, blah blah. I don't care. Power cable. I'm believing Cat Six or Cat Seven. Power cord, and that's the router itself, which I'll be opening soon. Antennas, and that's it. I don't want to make this. Unboxing long. This, well, this thing is heavy. All right. So that's the router. I'm gonna block the serial number and everything. I'm just interested in the ports. There you go. My leg is sticking out in the video. <laughs> so, same thing. USB 2, 3, 4 gigabits, a van. Two and a half GB and a LAN two gig. Now 
Um, I'll probably show you the problem on my um, current configuration, which I can't reach any speed higher than one gigabit, as I mentioned. So I'll do a speed test on the Bell modem. I'll do a speed test from from any other computer, which obviously is not going to go uh, higher than a gigabit. And then uh, I'm going to hook this up. Maybe I'll sh uh, I'll put it in the video, but I don't think it's necessary. Anyone knows how it goes is probably it's definitely going from the uh, the Bell router, the Bell sorry, not the Bell router, the Bell uh, modem to the van port of this and then the setup I have two methods which uh, I don't know if you know Bell uh, Bell modem has an issue you can't put it on um, bridge mode so there are two two different ways to set it up it's a PPB OE and the other one is adding the MAC address of this one to the advanced DMZ which I'm not gonna do I think this modem is this router should be capable of passing through uh, one and a half gigabit over the the PPPoE setup, but on that one you you you're gonna need your Bell account or the ID and the password on that, which I'm gonna explain later. So just uh, give me some time. I'll go downstairs to the basement and set this up. Okay, now. I'm in the basement and here's the fun part. So I want to change the uh, the current modem, sorry about the mess again. <laughs> the current modem that I, modem router that I have is the uh, Asus AC3100 and I want to change that with the uh, that AX6000 and that's my server and that's the modem from Bell. So hopefully I can figure this out and reach uh, speeds higher than a gigabit. So I have to put this down, I have to stop the video, change the uh, router and get back on the configuration. All right, stay with me. Okay, so I've set up the uh, router and nothing too special. I'm just going from the modem, modem, uh, one of the ports from the modem to the van um, of the router and then I'm connecting two cables I just want to link aggregate these two to my switch and then from the switch I'm um, feeding other uh, other components that are only 1 GB now the, the port of the 2.5 GB LAN as you can see is empty right now but uh, I'll through, I'll go through the process of setting up this because right now it seems like there is no internet because I have to set it up with the uh, Bell credentials. So I'll try to see if I can hook up uh, something that I can uh, set it up first and see how it goes. Okay. All right. Before I go through the settings, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh, Make sure that you're using this this port because these are only uh, one gigabit and this is ten gigabit, and this goes to the van of the uh, router, and that's the only way you can uh, you can get uh, auto negotiation between. So this is maximum. This is ten GB. This is two and a half GB, but the Bell modem is gonna auto negotiate two and a half GB. So I went through the uh, setup, I did the download uh, test and it was still 1 GB and then I realized on the bell it's uh, negotiating at 1 GB because I was using this port from the LAN. But make sure you use this port because this one is 10 GB and obviously the cable that bell provided is CAT6 so it should be good. Now uh, yeah, just make sure you do that. And then I'll show you the steps on the uh, the router itself. Okay, so it's the first time that I'm recording with NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So I apologize if the sound is not good. Uh, should be okay. Uh, let's get into what we should do with the uh, settings on the, the Bell modem first. So just open up your browser and type in the 
IP address of the uh, the bell modem in my case is 192.168.2.1 it should take you to the to the home hub 3000 or 4000 in my case is 4000 I prefer to disable the, the Wi-Fi on the modem so it doesn't conflict with my router but there's a bug in the modem whenever you turn it on and off or reset it it, it comes back on so it really doesn't matter but the other thing that you uh, need to make sure that uh, the settings are uh, set is you go to advanced tools and settings uh, type in your password whatever password you set for the bell modem I want it to save okay in here uh, there's DMZ which I'm not gonna go through the DMZ setup here or the advanced DMZ which you actually add the MAC address of the router I'm not gonna do it this way so remember we're doing this uh, the PPPOE pass through so don't go here nothing needs to be changed here uh, just change make sure these are off UPnP uh, the DLNA or SIP ALG these are off the other thing that you need to make sure that uh, you check is you go to Ethernet and remember we use the 10 GB port on the Bell modem to connect to the VAM port of the ASUS router so in here make sure that you have this set to auto either auto or two and a half GB I just left it at auto these we're not uh, uh, connected to so doesn't matter so make sure this is auto auto uh, for the auto neg negotiation uh, of the two and a half GB so this is good I uh, just want to go back and do a speed test to make sure that we're getting the advertised speeds uh, of one and a half GB and one I did some tests before and remember I just recently upgraded from the one GB to one and a half GB and you see the tests are done uh, according to the speeds so let's just do one more test to make sure that we're getting the speed on the bell side so block start uh, this might take uh, a minute or two uh, but it's best to make sure that you're getting those speeds before you connect to the ASUS router I'm expecting to get the same speeds as you see uh, the tests were done uh, multiple times and I was getting the expected speed uh, this is supposed to be one and a half gigabit download and 940 on the upload and I'm getting a little bit higher than that which is perfect the service of bell is perfect the latency is low the speeds are higher and there's no um, not, the, the speed doesn't go lower so it's perfect you see it's close to that 1.08 1.63 so it's perfect on the bell side uh, we don't have anything to do on the bell modem now let's go to the um, ASUS router uh, which I want to show you uh, by the way I went through the initial setup and I set the IP address 192.168.1.1 this should work or uh, as it says here I think it's router.asus.com it should take you there yeah you see uh, just type in the username and password when you initially set up the uh, the router I just want to show you the settings here so I did admin and the password I'm not gonna tell it on the microphone <laughs> okay sign in all right so in here what we want to check is a setting that is under van and then make sure you set the PPPOE on the VAN connection, enable VAN, NAT, UP, blah, blah. And then in here, type in your username and password for the bell. Uh, the username and password are set on the online account, or you can call bell to get this username, and then 
if you don't have that password you can change it on your online account the other thing that I want to check here I think it's under game acceleration uh, Oh, yeah, there you go. Internet speed. I want to see what's my internet speed on the Asus router. So let's do that test again. And you're seeing we're getting the exact same speeds as the uh, uh, as the Bell modem. On the download and upload is the same. Now remember on the on the computer that I'm using, I'm not actually connected to the 2.5 GB port. I'm connected to the 1 GB port. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go RDP to my server and do a speed test. This one, the machine is connected to 2.5 GB. So before you, you do that, uh, let's go to the control panel and see and make sure that your speed is I mean your uh, negotiation between the ASUS router and this machine you see it's two and a half GB so that's fine now let's do the speed test and again you see on that target machine that is connected to the two and a half GB uh, LAN of the ASUS router we're getting that speed higher than a gigabit so this is proving that it's working Perfect. Up download is okay. Upload again goes to 1.1. That's perfect. Now I did a speed test on on the machine that I'm recording this video, and obviously the speed is not going to be higher than a gigabit. Uh, if we go and do a speed test on this machine, it's again capping at. Uh, that uh, gigabit so to solve this problem uh, what I'm gonna do next the next step would be to get a switch a two and a half GB, uh, GB switch which I can connect the two and a half GB from the Asus router to the uplink something like this uh, I've saw it on Amazon right now is in uh, is not in in stock but I saw good reviews on it. So what you can do is, you connect the van, the two and a half T, uh, sorry, the two and a half GB LAN from the Asus to this, which is the uplink, and then you can connect the remaining computers with the two and a half GB capability to to this machine. Uh, so yeah, this would be the next step. If you have more than one computer with two and a half GB, you can use a switch like this, and these are not expensive. I think in Canadian dollars, they're close to 140, 145 bucks, which is not too bad. And then uh, you can have all your computers uh, getting a speed, internet speed, uh, higher than uh, one GB. Now I have on my uh, on my setup. I have another. I have another. Uh, I have a fiber connection which is 10 GB. So if you're interested, I can do another video to show you uh, the 10 GB speeds that I'm getting on the fiber. This is only intranet. It's only for the for the LAN connections. Uh, the the transfer between the computers it tr is true. This so I'm not occupying any bandwidth uh, on my. The two and a half GBs. I'm using ten and a half GB. So let me know. Yeah, let me know if you're interested in in seeing my setup for the fiber. Uh, uh, again, thanks for uh, thanks for listening. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. If you have any comments, questions, let me know, and I should be answered them uh, shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.